A MakerBot 3D printer is a machine that makes you things. Just like a 2D printer takes a, a two-dimensional document from your screen and prints it out on a two-dimensional piece of paper, a 3D printer takes a 3D document or a 3D model that's on your computer that you can look at, and then it turns it into a physical 3D model. This is really powerful if you're an industrial designer, an engineer, an architect, or just somebody who loves to make things. One of the most powerful things about having a MakerBot is it changes your relationship to innovation. Before we showed up, if you wanted to prototype a product or had an idea and you want to see what it looked like physically, you had to send it out and it would take weeks and then you'd get it back and you'd be like, oh, you know, I want you know, more rounded corners or I want to make it bigger or this part needs some grippy stuff on it. And then you'd send it back out. And with that rate of you know, iteration, you can do multiple runs multiple iterations a year. When you have a MakerBot and it's sitting on your desk, you can do multiple iterations a day. When we talk about an industrial revolution, we talk about everything changing. And you can look in the past, you've got the, when mass manufacturing happened, everybody all of a sudden had access to design. You, know, you could make something, and if it, was, if it was successful, you could make a lot of them. Then you had trains and transportation. So not only could you make this stuff, but you could distribute it out to people. When I talk about the next industrial revolution, I'm talking about all that infrastructure, all that manufacturing, all that deli the delivery mechanism. It's all on your desktop. The factory is on your desktop. The next industrial revolution is about taking that power, that manufacturing power, that creative power, and putting it in people's hands, people who haven't had that access before. One of the challenging things about the educational system right now is it's really focused on test taking. So it's really focused on reading and writing. And for a lot of people out there, they want to be able to do something with their hands. They want to be able to have an impact on the world physically, not just by writing about it or reading about it. They want to actually have, take action. When you put a MakerBot in a classroom, it pulls the sort of the, the kids who don't fit into the the requirements of, of, of the status quo, the expectations of, the, of, our, of our culture, the, the sort of the outcasts, the weirdos, the nerds, the geeks, they gravitate towards it. And you just know that these are the kids who are going to be in charge. You just, you can tell. And kids get it so much faster. Like they literally, they, they go, okay, you know, can I make Lego with this thing? And you're like, yeah. And they're like, just get out of my way. So it, in many ways, it's, it's, a MakerBot is a manufacturing education in a box. Usually we wait till you know, young people are in college before we teach them how to make anything. And even then, as a culture, we haven't really focused on the value of being able to be creative, get your ideas out, take risks, and make things happen. And a MakerBot does all that, and it does it in such a way that it's friendly and easy and affordable. So it's a, it's a powerful force in the world.